Skype record. Hi, I'm Savannah Payne. And I'm Josie Wilson. Today we are here to do desk crit number two together. Um, I'm going to start off by sharing my three slides and part of my draft for my um, script. So I'm going to go ahead and share screen. Help me out because I kept messing up whenever I was recording. So it helped me to go ahead and type this audio. And then whenever it said screen splash, I took that as like, hey, what are the main things that I need to put on my slide? And after reading chapter six, then I was like, okay, I know that it would be good to have vocabulary words or images that supported learning and not just decorative images on the slides. And so I really did a pretty good job with the slide one, two, three. And it also like during this developer notes, it helped me, I went ahead and put like my avatar's name on there. So I'll know which one to go back and use again next week because whew, there were some things that I did probably about seven, eight, 10 times, whatever. But uh, anyways, I didn't get too far. I did not get my storyboard draft complete because even in the moment, I went back and edited the audio transcript about 17 times during the recording process to go, oh, well, I, I think I might need to mention that. And so this uh, working with Adobe Captivate was actually a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be, mostly because I had a hard time with the timing. If you make any of the images, um, interactive but then also this timeline here like I hadn't quite popped that up or figured out how to use it I had to use several alternate YouTube videos in addition to the LinkedIn training and it was difficult depending on when they recorded their video versus what were the latest software updates and so I was really really struggling here with um, this audio recording. So I'm gonna click play just on this slide. Accessible design is good design. It benefits people who don't have disabilities and those who do. Okay, so I don't wanna go over the whole thing, but that recording popped up here. It's under this text caption so it was frustrating because at first I had the video or the, the audio recording attached because I was trying to use this record button up here to record and it attached it to the avatar first. And then after I deleted that off the avatar, it was gone in the never, never. And then I had to re-record but I guess I was clicked on to, instead of the entire slide, I was only clicked on to this um, box here in the top. And so now the recording is attached to that. So I think that to get the closed captions for the recording, that you actually have to use an alternate audio recording program so that when you insert audio that you already have that recorded and then it will come off as just uh, the audio waves because without the audio waves then you can't get the closed caption feature so another difficulty that I was having is um, for the most part it was really really hard to get to where like go to course or whatever like it took a lot of messing with those boxes just to make sure that whenever you played it that it actually worked or that it would actually play and then so it would look good there but then whenever i would come over here um 
Campus I, tools for accessibility. I do like the... Please get ready by clicking the Canvas button. Canvas. Accessible design. Um, so I like Objective. that part. Today, we will learn three accessibility tools in Canvas. Language preference selection, high contrast user interface, and immersive reader in Canvas. Click a topic to begin. So do you see how that voice fades off on the end? I cannot for the life of me figure out how to make that stop because that's not what the recording sounds like. So it fades away like it yeah. was kind of loud and then it just kind of got quieter. It's, a, you know? it's like I'm turning away from my mic or something whenever I was recording it and that is not true at all. It is some kind of audio setting that I am just not able to figure out. So um, anyways, that was my struggle with it. In addition, like it, this one slide alone, it looks very basic, right? But um, it actually took me about four hours to do because I could not get these icons like this one would bounce, but then it would stick over the words to where you couldn't read the words or the speaker was so large that it was on click a topic to begin and the immersive reader. So like I was really, really having some difficulty, um, but I managed to get three slides whenever you look at them, you are able to uh, at least, well, well, they'll size up to your iPhone or to your desktop. So that's why I'm like, hands up, <laughs> hands up. Really, I feel the same way, <laughs> but that looks very good. You do a great job. And I, I don't have any tips that I could share with you that would uh, make yours look any better for sure. <laughs> All righty, so I'm gonna go over mine. Let's see here, let me share my screen. Okay, let me minimize that first. And then I'll show you, this is my storyboard. Can you see this, Savannah? Okay, so mine is really very elementary and it's not complete just like you were talking about, but I do have at least up to six slides um, of what I'm gonna try to do. Of course, my first, um, slide is going to be just my introductory screen which is dental equipment and instruments and then my slide two is going to be my information screen over dental instruments and i'm going to have a photo and a description of the dental mouth mirror and the dental explorer i wasn't sure what i was supposed to do here in the audio transcript but as i've seen years now i understand a little bit better and then my slide three is also gonna be an information screen over dental equipment. And it's just gonna be a photo and a description of a dental chair and a dental light. Now there's more dental equipment and instruments that I had, but I've had to dumb it way down, like you said, just because I'm trying to learn how to use software. So I'm just gonna be happy if I can do these few tasks. And then on slide four, like you were talking about, this is gonna be, let's check your knowledge. I tried to do a drag and drop yesterday for it seemed like 18 hours, but I have now thrown that out and we're gonna match. We're gonna have matching, match the dental. <laughs> and I'm gonna have the Explorer, the mirror, the dental light and a dental chair. And we're gonna match that for the quiz. And then my slide five is gonna be a screen result of the quiz result. And then slide six is a, the completion screen, which is gonna show a certificate of completion, maybe. That's getting complicated again for me. Okay, and then so I've had a very difficult time with this program because I felt like just even getting it downloaded on my computer was a task uh, in itself. And then I have pulled from some uh, templates that have already been made. And now I'm going to go back and try to make my own. 
But what I did over here on the side is I just pulled in anything that I thought I could use and I'm just gonna try to mimic it, uh, recreate it because this was actually for like a construction site. So uh, my first slide looked like this. I couldn't figure out how to um, change the background and all that. So I'm gonna start over in some of these blank slides. Um, my second slide, again, I worked on this. This was gonna be the drag and drop, but I never got it done. I never got it finished. Um, Josie, click on themes real quick on the top. Yeah. Um, so here on your OSHA theme and click theme properties down in the, yeah. And then, um, so do you see where it has the color bar with the theme colors? Yes. I think that you could drop that down and that's how you can maybe get off of construction construction orange if you were really <laughs> wanting to change that so okay so let's try well let's try real quick on this one so say i want to make it you'll click in the gray uh, click the drop down real quick uh the next one down this one yeah there you go so oh. maybe click the one with the turquoise and burgundy and light blue wait Dental is purple, isn't it? No, I mean, I was just going to try to blend it, like, yeah, make, like, either a gray where it would show up good or, like, maybe a yeah, light color. Yeah, select that. Select this that one real quick, yeah. Okay. I'm done? And then, yeah. I kept trying to change it over here on this side. See where I put slide color? Oh, but yeah. it would not change anything. And this is, and I'm really guessing because this goes back to yesterday whenever I was watching 73 YouTube videos. I think this mm -hmm. is one of the, <laughs> one mm -hmm. of the ones that I was watching, but it was okay. a little bit different because, um, okay. So it changed the font on this one, not necessarily the orange. And then also on slide six, it changed some of your text box to to turquoise instead yeah so, so this was my problem so that's why i just thought i would try to start over today <laughs> but and so and then i haven't even touched on the recording or whatever so it's just going to be what i can get done today yeah um, but and then uh closed captioning i'm sure that's out of the question today but I think I can record well um, closed captioning wasn't necessarily a requirement of this assignment okay um it was had, just the record like recording of to tell about my slide and then I don't know how to put a button here to go to next either preview at the top yeah. of your screen mm-hmm and you click the options for preview and you click project. Yeah. It will tell you to open this up in a new um, slide or a new, like you click this. And so when you click play from there, I wasn't necessarily worried about my buttons over here in the bottom because do you see that they are on the toolbar? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, so then that, you can just go. Oh, when is that? Yeah. Again? It's okay. It's going to your next slide. Okay. So then it would go to the next slide. Right. Okay. And, then and then it will automatically play through unless you put a pause, like a command to pause until the next click. Mm hmm. And believe me, whenever I was trying to do this, that's whenever I started to learn about like, oh, I can watch it on here to see if I would do something right or, or like, did I really just mess it up pretty bad? And then that's whenever I learned how to use the timeline on the bottom. And um, so I had to drag and drop a lot of my stuff 
to make it go in order. So like with that book bouncing on there and that eyeball that was bouncing on there and all of that stuff, like I really had to stagger when that appeared on my screen and where it went with the audio. With your audio. Yes. And so it was, it was not, um, by any means, it was not easy. So from here now, how do I get back? Just, um, out of this up here in the you corner. Hit, yeah, your Adobe Captivate that opened up on the web page. Your Adobe Captivate is still uh the program open. Here. Yeah. Okay. So another thing, like I started this yesterday, but I did not even like turn my computer off or click out of that. Does this just will it be saved? Oh man, please don't make that mistake because <laughs> I so I like what mistake? Like I was afraid that I would never see this stuff again. So I mean, I left my computer so, out. Um, in the top right hand corner, after you make any change that you would like to keep, hit file save because yesterday I was working from five a.m. till nine a.m. and then I closed it. And guess what? It didn't oh, save a darn thing. Yeah. <laughs> see. I was afraid. So you're saying file and then save? Yes, ma'am. But I'll still be able to go back in and edit it again, right? Yeah, click save. Click save right there. And now file close. Exit. Sure. Or close. And then I'll, but when I go back in. If you close it, Captivate, you'll be able to see it. It'll be in there again? Okay. Yeah. Let's practice. All right, close. <sighs> and now yeah. if you go see, and now it's saved there in your projects, on your recent projects. Okay. All right. So I was just going to build my other slides today, still in that, and then just delete the ones out that I don't need as I go. Because... For us, and okay. hope everybody out there, thank you for watching our learning happen live. Uh, we appreciate that and have a great week.